hey 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 whoa what is going on there have been apparently some updates what's going on with facebook live okay what's going on everyone it's kim and the sav kim out of savannah georgia of betterbodycrew.com and in this video what i wanted to do is just talk with you i cannot be even believe this don't you hate it when you go to do something that you know you know how to do and then all of a sudden you realize like oh it's different Hey, what's going on, y'all? I don't know where the comments are. I don't know what's going on with Facebook. Sorry, YouTube. Um, but this has thrown me for a loop. Okay, so Sharon. Okay, 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 okay. I think I see. Hey, what's going on, Sharon Robinson Harris? I was just thrown for a loop. All right, so guys, listen. What I want to do is talk to you. Seriously, I need to talk to you guys because some of y'all are really misunderstanding opportunities that come before you and i'm not talking about with just what what, what i do i'm talking about period and it's it's just oh it's breaking my heart you should not leave 2020 the same way you came in because if 2020 has hey what's going on tiffany slaughter if 2020 has taught you anything it is that you need to get your crap together you need to get your business affairs in order you need to know how to pivot quickly you need to put things in place and have some reserves so that when the proverbial ish hits the fam because it inevitably will and we never know when it's going to happen or for how long you need to be prepared to still provide for you and your family so let me let me tell y'all this right now. For those, and I'm going to take my sea moss because I need me some energy and I haven't had it today and I like it, okay? So I will be slurping. <laughs> I will be slurping. Hey, Bruce. But let me tell y'all something. For those of you who do not know, I'm in a detox tea company, a company that's known for detox tea. And I make a full-time income. I have not just replaced my full-time income. I've exceeded it to, with this opportunity. It took me five years to do that. Does that mean it'll take you five years to do that? No, it does not mean that. Um, I don't know how long it'll take you because I don't know you. However, I will tell you this. The average person will not do what I've done in order to get the results that I've gotten. They won't cut videos. They won't step outside of their comfort zone. They won't go above and beyond to uh, provide customer service to people. They won't talk to people on their team that aren't making the money yet. They won't believe in people more than what the person believes even in themselves. That takes a lot of effort and energy. I'm not going to lie to you. And there are people in my company, like the top dogs who do this every single day. Like they do it way more than me. They brush their teeth on Facebook Live. They use the bathroom on Instagram Live. They go shopping with you. They cook with you. They eat with you. And they do all that stuff. Nothing wrong with that. Just not my deal. Just not my deal. Now. I do have a saying, and I, there is something that I know, and that is uh, visibility equals profitability. That means the more that people see you, the more that people will remember you, the more that people will want to know about what you do. There's no secret, right? Hmm? Y'all do know that, right? That's not a secret. I'm not revealing anything that y'all don't know. Visibility equals profitability. When you stay top of mind, people remember you and they will reach out to you, even, even if their cousin sells the dang on tea. <laughs> I have people that buy from me and their coworker who sits next to them every single day sells the same products that I sell. So why are they buying from Kim and Little Savannah, Georgia? Because they see me on YouTube. However, let's be real. I'm being very honest with y'all. The majority of people will not do what I do. Now, does that mean that there's no opportunity for you? No, I, I want y'all to put your listening ears on and really hear me out here. Many of you strike down opportunities and you don't join businesses because you see people at the top and you're not dumb. You're like, they're doing a lot to get to the top and I don't have time to do all of that. Let me tell you something that will set you free. You don't have to like for real, for real. You don't have to. Now, if you want to come, <laughs> Tiff saw, <laughs> Tiffany says, said, ha, facts. I'm going to put together the pieces of this puzzle for y'all because I want to be very clear in my communication. I never even got into this business to be the queen bee of detox tea. I never got into this business to be the top. I got into this business to provide for my son, to provide for me, 
in a way that I knew I knew that I could build this over time. I knew that it would take time and I knew I had nothing but time because the time is going to pass anyway. But let me tell you something, how you can win too, even if you don't want to do all the crap that you see me doing. And to do this, you got to understand business. Okay, you have to understand business. Hear me out. The way home-based businesses were, everybody was pissed off with the whole Donald Trump and $750 in taxes. Why are you mad? The same game that's available to him is available to you. Now, if you don't learn the rules of the game and play to win, then that's on you. But every single day, I know for a fact I've been telling y'all about this year I partnered with OTD Tax and how they have made my life. I, I, like, I gladly pay my invoices to them. Gladly. Which, by the way, is a write-off. I gladly pay my OTB tax invoices. You know why? Because they know what the heck they're doing. They have saved me so much money. You cannot start a home-based business and still get your, your taxes done by Pookie at H&R Block who's been doing them since you worked at the McDonald's and you were 16 years old. No, you need to do, you need to do like Sierra, baby, and level up. So that it, not, not when, but if, not if, but when, the IRS, Uncle Sam, comes a-knocking and says, hey, you got all these deductions, we want to audit you. Now you're not like, see, I knew it. I knew it was too good to be true. No, baby, you didn't handle your business. So when I'm telling y'all, let me, t seriously, you start a home-based business. I don't care whether it's with me or not. I really, honestly, that does not, that's not my concern. You just start any home-based business, right? And you do what you're supposed to do. You do what you do normally. You Y'all go around every single day telling people, like, right now, y'all looking at my hair wrap. Like, where did she get that hair wrap? Right? If you ask me, I'll tell you. You do the same thing. You wear stuff, a shirt, a skirt, makeup, whatever. You like it. People ask you, oh, where'd you get that from? You give them, you tell them, oh, I, it's, I got it from Amazon. Here's the name of it. You get paid zero on that. Get paid zero on that. Every day you post stuff, oh, come to this restaurant. You get paid zero on that. When you find a product that you like, that you're using anyway, if you just tell people about it, if they have an opportunity, uh, like it, even right now, if, if there's a promotional item I'm using, if there's anything that I'm using, even these YouTube videos that I'm shooting, I get paid for the YouTube videos. When I give y'all my link to Amazon, I'm not giving you a regular Amazon link. I'm giving you my referral link. I get paid on that. I am finding ways to monetize what I'm doing anyway. So what I'm simply telling you is that if by chance, <laughs> if by chance, if by chance you are a customer of mine and you're using the products anyway, now, if you don't like the products, don't join the business. There are some people who don't like the products because they're not giving them the results that they thought they would get. Now, there's many reasons for that. One, one of the top things, y'all, I'm going to be very honest, is your consistency or lack thereof. So, if you're not being consistent, no, you're not seeing results. But um, if you are a person who is consistent and you're seeing results, why wouldn't you share with other people, hey, this can help you get your belly down, girl. This can help you get your confidence up, my, my, my brother. This can help you feel better. This can help you look better. This can get you a better body inside out. Why wouldn't you position yourself to, to, to basically monetize your transformation anyway? Now, you don't have to go balls to the wall and, and be out here. I'm not going to knock your job. No, I hate it when people tell people to quit their job and make fun. And I used to do that. Make fun of people with jobs. No, you need your job. Play fool if you want to. You need your job. But let me just put this bug in your ear. If you have a product that you like and that product has a compensation plan attached to it so that you can literally make money doing what you are supposed to do, refer it to your family members and friends. Refer, refer it to Sister Esther at the church. Refer it to your neighbor. If they don't want to buy from you, cool. But what if they do? What if they do? Hmm. Well... Now you got a little bit of extra money in your pocket. Is it worth it though, Kim? Is it worth it? Because I got to do that auto ship thing. Well, it's only worth it if you put on your business hat and you learn how to make it worth it. So as long as you're doing the business, regardless of what you earn, do you understand you now have opened yourself up to a wealth of tax write-offs as a business owner? I didn't even fully get that until this year when I started working with Courtney and OTB tax. And the things that she told me, the things that they did when we went through my paperwork blew me away. 
the average person is paying four to seven thousand dollars more than they should per year in taxes how do you mitigate that how do you correct that how do you fix that position yourself on the other side of the, the cash flow quadrant that we all learned about years ago with rich dad poor dad and instead of you just being an employee nothing wrong with that but don't just be an employee do what donald trump did do what all the people in congress do do what all the wealthy people do while y'all out here complaining about them why not do what they do especially when it's available to you get those tax advantages legitimately then you don't have to slide pookie an extra 50 or 100 dollars and claim somebody else's kid or have him doing things that can get you in jail on your taxes see you can get more money than what pookie is giving you at the h and r block if you get with a legitimate business and you do things the right way but we don't know what we don't know don't we i didn't know what i didn't know that's why i spend every waking moment now finding out because i'm not going to see that i'm doing something wrong and continue to do it wrong craig prince laughing at me and said true now let me tell you the other side of that y'all let me tell y'all the other side of that and then I'm going to end because I got to go in one of my private groups and do a video on something else that's on my that the spirit done hit me with okay mm, mm. when you make I don't care if you make a hundred dollars a month I really don't care not a lot of money but it's better than zero right let's say you make a hundred two hundred dollars a month in your little your little home based business <laughs> now forget the the profit you know, a hundred that's just groceries, okay, but it's better than nothing. Forget what the income is. I already told you it's gonna open you up to a tax savings of four to seven thousand dollars if you are partnered with the if you have the right CPA and you handle your business like a business. It's gonna open you up to those tax advantages. But listen to this, okay? You're already used to struggling. You're already used to, or maybe you're not. Maybe you're not. Maybe you got a six-figure job and you're perfectly fine. Kudos to you. But you're already used to surviving on just your paycheck. So what if we, my friend, what if we, instead of taking whatever money we made in our home-based business and get an extra, you know, purse or some shoes or going out for extra dinner, what if we put that money into an account <laughs> like, we, like we didn't have it? What if we acted like it's not there? And we let that money accumulate, right? And then we started learning. Follow me now. I know this is intimidating because we don't like things outside of our comfort zone. But what if we started learning to invest? Hmm? See, you will never get out of the rut that you are in as long as you continue to spend the money that you make. You shouldn't spend the money that you make. You should spend the money that your money makes. You should spend your money, babies, right? So the money that you make, take that money, put it to work, make that money multiply, and then you spend the babies, i.e. the interest. That's how you get out of the rut that you're in. See, the word spend, what's the last three letters? N. When you spend your money, it comes to an end. <laughs> <laughs> when you invest your money properly with the right expertise, then you multiply your money. There are so many things that are available to us. There are so many mentorships. This is what you do. You find a master and you rob them of their expertise. You find a master in an area and you rob them of their expertise. You find a master and you rob them of their expertise. One of the things that I recently invested in, and when I say I cannot sleep at night because of the things that this guy is teaching me, it's a HIM 500 mentorship. It cost me $5,000. It cost me $5,000. Now, to many of y'all, ooh, that's a lot of money. Well, it is. It is, I guess, but it's all relative. I gladly spent that money. You know why? Because there's people in there that make seven, eight figures, six, seven, and eight figures, and they paid him the same five. First of all, not only do I have access to his expertise regarding manufacturer spending regarding credit regarding business funding regarding things that most people never will even take the time to learn because they think it's over the head not only do i have access to that expertise but i have access to the group of people and, and it's a small group you know why because the majority of people will never even wrap their head around spending that type of money to to 
pay for somebody else's in, in, information. They'd be like, I could probably Google it and get the same information. Yeah, maybe you can, but how long will it take you, my friend? And if you if you were really going to do that, wouldn't you have done it by now? Hmm? When you have somebody who has already curated that information for you, when you have somebody who's already taken the bumps and the bruises, why the heck would you not pay him for him to show you the shortcut? Instead of you going into the YouTube university and falling to the abyss, yeah, you start looking up this one thing about business funding and next thing you know, you're watching cat videos. That's why most of us are not getting anything done now in the first place when you, he who pays pays attention so let's say you only make a hundred or two hundred dollars a month and you just put it to the side and you save it and now you have money to invest in stocks after buying a course like from wall street trapper or terry egioma the sister is bad the sister is bad this heifer was an assistant principal making just over three thousand dollars a month as an assistant principal, never off of work. They were always hounding and harassing her about the kids. She said, I like to teach, but you know what? Forget this. Forget this. I'm out. Deuces. I'm going to teach people stocks. Terry E.G. Oma just bought a $700,000 $700, house. Cash. Black woman. Trading stocks. Something that black people scared of. The majority of her client base is black women. Single moms, married people, all types of people. Learning stocks. Something that most people think, oh, I can't do that. No, you can't do it alone. But just like anything else in life, if you get somebody, if you, if you get a job today, somebody's going to train you on that job. Somebody, directly or indirectly, whatever the case may be, somebody's going to train you on that job. You can learn anything if you put your back into it. <laughs> and if you get the right teacher. Mm, that was good. So instead of Netflixing and chilling, what if we started seeking out masters? And, I, and it doesn't have to be stocks. Maybe it's real estate. And you plug into real estate, maybe it's flipping, maybe it's real estate wholesaling, maybe it's real estate liens, maybe it's what, I don't care, whatever it is. You need to find a vehicle to invest in so that your money can multiply and then you can start living off of the interest that your money generates instead of just living off of your money that you make. Make your money multiply. That is why I got into my company. Not because I wanted to be on stage. Not because I wanted to be recognized and I want everybody to sing my praises. Not because I wanted to be an MLM celebrity. No, I got into the company because I wanted the tax advantages. I got into the company because I wanted to make enough money to have play money to invest in other areas so that I could make my money multiply. See, for most of you in my company and in other MLMs, MLMs, you're frustrated with your business. You know why? Because you're trying to crack the whip on your team if you have one. You're hounding, harassing your customers. You're trying to get to the top, and, and you don't you don't even want to be on social media that much. I know, I know, I know, I don't. As much as I cut videos, I'm not the I'm not the girl to be like, ooh, I can't wait to like Facebook Live this. No, I like my privacy. I like my time alone. I like quiet time. I don't want to live on social media. I don't want to hound and harass my team and crack the whip on them and say, your volume isn't up enough. I don't want to curse people out. That's not my deal. And I, necess I don't necessarily need the recognition. I, I, I just want a nice bank account. That's what I came here for. I want a nice bank account. I want freedom. And it doesn't, like my MLM company doesn't have to be the sole source for that. Can I be honest with y'all? Even the big leaders, they're not even silly enough to do that. Y'all know how many businesses Stormy Wellington has? Y'all know how many businesses 
how many places Greg and Lanika Scott have their money in so that that money is generating interest for them. Y'all know, and they're doing the same thing I just told you about. They're paying lots of money for mentorships. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you here trying to bug your customers, trying to bug your team to build your check. Because you're trying to get to the top and be six. And the majority of people, if they make it in MLM to, to six figures, the majority of people usually end up, because everything is cyclical, right? Sales go up and sales come down. So the majority of people, when that check goes up and they hit six figures, they think it's going to stay there. When that check comes down, they can't survive the valley. And now they're like, oh my gosh, it is a scam. It is a scheme. It is a this. No, baby, you treated your business like a lottery ticket. You thought you were going to hit once, strike gold, and have this big, huge payout, and it was going to pay out forever, and you were just going to kick up your heels, and rel and that's not how it works. You didn't handle your business. It's not a scam. It's not a scheme. It's a real legitimate business. And as a real legitimate business owner, you've got to survive the down times. So my friends, especially those of you who hated 2020, I'm gonna be honest with you. 2020 was my, this was the first year that I had documented six. I've made six figures before in my company. This is the first year that I have it documented, meaning it ran through the back office, the, through the front and the back. If you don't understand what that means, don't worry about it. Just know it was a huge accomplishment. So 2020 wasn't horrible for me. 20 year, 2020 was my best year financially. And I'm looking forward to 2021, but I'm not rushing it. 2020 has been great for me. I'm ending out strong. And I'm telling you, please listen to me. This year, I know people that have worked their jobs for like 20 years. They never thought anything would happen to it, And they lost their job this year. Please don't be comfortable. Thank you, Craig Hill said, congrats, Craig Hill. Craig Prince said, congratulations. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, it was a great year for me. And I'm not going to feel guilty about that. Did I make it all in this year? Like, you know, it, it's, the, it's the cumulative effect. It's the compound effect of a lot of things, right? It all came to fruition in 2020. But I promise you, my friend. I promise you, my friend. If you start treating whatever business you're in and if you're not in one yet i strongly encourage you to get into one are there some negatives to mlms of course there's negatives to everything don't be silly don't be silly but i'm telling you right now it is like with the low overhead the low cost and this is the reason why people take it for granted and they call it a scheme because they get in and they literally want to do nothing the majority of them but then they want then they want to wonder why people not buying from them or people not joining them you've done nothing to make a person want to join you or buy from you just keeping it real just keeping it real you don't have a lot of customers because you don't follow up with the few customers you got you don't have a lot of team members because a few people that who have who have joined you you didn't plug them into the system you haven't you just <laughs> you just left them out there floundering so are there some negatives yes but i'm telling you this and i and, and just hear me clearly you position yourself to monetize you. If you're if you're if you're a customer of mine, you can position yourself to monetize your transformation, and that will open you up by starting a home based business. That will open you up to a wealth of tax benefits that will blow your mind when you get the right CPA. And on top of that, any money that you make, put it to the side, act like you didn't make it because you're used to living on just your paycheck anyway. So why should now be any different? Just put the money to the side, act like you didn't make it, and then look into something that you've always wanted to know. Real estate, stocks, whatever. Find the master and then rob the master of their expertise. Like I said, this him 500 mentorship and I got in his last class and it has been, there are so many things that I did not know about credit, business funding that I'm learning now. And I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is how people are doing. Like you ever met somebody and they tell you what they have and you're like, I know I'm better than them. <laughs> 
I know I'm smarter than them. How did they get that? You probably are better than them. You probably are smarter than them. But it does not matter. There are laws and principles that govern wealth creation. And if you do not apply the principles, if you do not follow the laws of wealth attainment, it doesn't matter whether you're better, smarter, or anything than that other person. They're doing the work the right way. And as long as you continue to not do it, you will not have what they have that you're envious of. And there's no need for that. There's no need for that. So yeah, Terry Egioma's class is on my list next. Oh, that was nice. I appreciate that, babe. Oh, hold on. Okay. Terry E. Gioma's class is on my is on my hit list next. I'm not going to live on social media. I'm not going to miss out on time with my son because I'm I'm trying to be on Facebook Live and Instagram Live for y'all every single day um, for a twenty dollar sale. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to rush my team's process and make them feel like they're not doing enough because they're not rich yet. No, I'm going to give them the same time to grow in this company that I had. It took me five years. Will it take them five years? No, because there's tools and systems in place and things like my company is nowhere near. It was nowhere near this advanced back in 2015 when I started. So for many people in my team, they'll get to where I am much quicker, much, much quicker. And I'm happy about that. However, I'm still not going to rush nobody's process. I'm not going to do that. It doesn't take all that. All I'm going to do is teach my team what I'm learning. Hey, Take, make sure you handle this with your taxes. You can A penny save is a penny earned. So even if you don't make money on the front end with your sales, with building a team, you can make money on the back end with your tax earnings. So I'm educating my, my team about how they should be keeping their records, what they should be doing with their taxes. taxes. When we get that money, this HUM 500 mentorship that I paid 5K for, I'm in, uh, and my team is like business school. We have the Better Body Builders where the, the objective is to tell people about these awesome, amazing products so that they can get their better body inside out but then i have divisions of my team these we're working together to fix our credit the credit crushers i have the belief builders we're working together on dream building visualizations things that make us mentally strong so i go in the credit crushers and i say hey today i found this out or i took notes on this and this is and we're learning about things like mind-blowing things and we're working together as a team not just to sell no dang on detox tea <laughs> if you think that is all that I'm selling, then you've missed it. You've missed it. I am a hope dealer. To give you a hope for a, a brighter future all the way around. So for those of you who don't want to join an opportunity because you're like, I can't do what she's doing. You're right. You probably can't do what she's doing. If she's doing this full time, you can't live on Instagram and Facebook Live. But you know what you can do? You can still change your life. You're just going to do it a different way. You can still change your life. Partner with the opportunity. Open yourself up to the same tax advantages that the wealthy people have opened themselves up to. Hey, Tanya Crab, I'm great, girl. Open yourself up to these tax advantages. Save. Start doing some income shifting. Things that you're paying for right now anyway. Learn how to categorize, move those things from personal expenses to business expenses, save huge on your taxes with the right CPA. And at the same time, any money that you're making, any money that you're making, put it to the side, act like it's not there. Start really, really thinking long and hard about what do you want to do? What have you always wanted to learn how to do that you thought you couldn't do? Find a master in that area and plug into them. And if they have some type of course or mentorship after you vet it and you see people, see one of the reasons why I joined the HIM 500 mentorship was because there's a woman who is a mobile in Atlanta a restaurateur owns multiple restaurants in business with a celebrity and everybody comes to her for business advice. And guess what? As much money as she makes, she joined the mentorship for $5,000. She joined the mentorship for $5,000. And when I look at the fact that I have the same opportunity to join the mentorship that this woman who has way more money than me, if she's going to plug, like I already knew I wanted to do it. But then when you see other people who have way more money than you and they're plugging into the information too, like, oh man, as much money as I have, I still didn't know. 
It's like, okay, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I position myself in the same environment, in the same virtual atmosphere as that person? Mm -hmm. And you know what? The level of conversation in that group has been so much better than all of the free groups that I've been living in for years trying to figure it out with all the other freeple people. No disrespect if you're a freeple person. You do what you can do until you can do better. But by golly, I was about to curse. By golly. Please, at some point, learn to do better. Learn to level up. Put yourself in position to where you can get very specialized knowledge from someone who knows what the heck they're doing. And stop trying to run a race where you don't have a head start. You don't have to be at the top of your company to still win in a very big way, y'all. You really don't. So I hope this was helpful to someone. I hope I gave you something to think about. Um, and that's why y'all have not seen me on social media a lot lately. Because I've been in my, him who pays, pays a lot, pays attention. So you think I'll pay 5K for a mentorship and then come on here at Facebook Live with y'all and just talk about how was your day? No, I'm in those groups. I'm in our private telegram. I'm in our... I'm getting my knowledge, I'm watching my courses, and I am in the middle of doing a lot of stuff that um, is going to pay off big in like a few weeks. A few weeks. So, did you find this helpful? Did I better help you understand how you can win in an MLM, even if you're not at the top of the leaderboard? Did I give you something else to think about? Huh? Huh? Let your girl know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Minnie. Hey, Shantae. Hey, everybody that joined on. All right. So, guys, listen, I got to go. I got to go take care of some business. And I have, uh, what time is it? I got to get ready for a training and cut another video. Yes, this was helpful, Craig Prince. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. So, IG, follow me. Facebook, hit follow. See first if you like this content. And YouTube, do me a favor. If you found this helpful, then you have to tell YouTube. Hey, you should show this girl's video to people. All you have to do is smash that like button. And this, if this is your first time and you've never seen me before, then hit subscribe and bang the bell to the right. Ding dong. So every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. And if you want to know more about my opportunity and how you can get the ball rolling with some of the things that I um, talked about, then join me. But please, I, I, I'm just going to be very honest with you. I do not convince or persuade people. So if you reach out to me, we're not going to have a conversation about why this is not a scam. If you think it's a scam, don't reach out. But if you're ready to rock and roll and start putting into action some of the things that I talked about, let's do this. All right? Bye, y'all.